Then Armenian President Robert Kocharyan ordered a deadly crackdown on peaceful protesters 11 years ago. The court in Yerevan is expected to begin the case against Kocharyan on September 12th on charges of attempting to overthrow Armenia's constitutional order and corruption. He and his lawyers claim it is a political vendetta orchestrated by the current prime minister, Nikol Pashinyan. The trial is expected to be a landmark in Armenia's post-Soviet history. On March 1, 2008, Kocharyan was on his way out after serving the constitutional maximum of two five-year terms as president. Opposition supporters were furious with the conduct of the election for his successor, which brought Kocharyan's political ally Serge Sarkisian to power. International observers at the time found deficiencies in the electoral process and an insufficient regard for standards essential to democratic elections. Protests over alleged election fraud grew in central Yerevan. Nikol Pashinyan, the current prime minister, was a newspaper editor at the time and also one of the leaders of the demonstrators. Riot police and armored personnel carriers were deployed, but the crowd remained defiant. Later on March 1st, Kocharyan declared a 20-day state of emergency, banning all rallies and imposing censorship on the media. Kocharyan said his strong actions were justified. Soon after that announcement, eight protesters and two police officers were killed. More than 200 more civilians were wounded. In the aftermath, hundreds of protesters were jailed. International organizations condemned the bloody post-election violence and said political protesters were unjustly arrested. An independent fact-finding mission set up by Armenia's parliament found that Kocharyan ordered troops into the streets of Yerevan in violation of the constitution. Kocharyan left direct involvement in politics to manage his private business empire. Pashinyan was later arrested and served nearly two years in prison. In 2018, Sarkisian's second presidential term ended, but he was elected prime minister after saying he wouldn't run, sparking renewed protests. <laughs> Pashinyan led a new wave of popular discontent, and tens of thousands of Armenians answered his call. After three weeks of peaceful street marches in Yerevan and Pashinyan's brief detention, Sarkisian resigned. In May of last year, Parliament elected Pashinyan as Prime Minister. Two months later, prosecutors charged Kocharyan with overthrowing the constitutional order of Armenia because of his actions in 2008. Three co-defendants were also charged, Kocharyan's presidential chief of staff and two army generals. Kocharyan faces up to 15 years in prison if convicted. He's now 65 years old and claims the prosecution against him is Pashinian's revenge. But Pashinian has repeatedly denied orchestrating the case. On September 4th, Armenia's constitutional court said that aspects of the case against Kocharyan were, quote, unconstitutional. But it is still not clear what impact the ruling will have on the trial. Armenia's prosecutor general's office has argued that there are no grounds to drop criminal proceedings or to release Kocharyan from custody, as demanded by his defense team. As of September 11th, Kocharyan remained in pretrial detention.